Hi, welcome to Yoga for Dummies, the Intermediate Series. I'm Sarah Ivanhoe, and I've designed this program as a special addition to our basic workout. The routine is short, only about 20 minutes or so, but because we step up the pace, you can still get a workout. It can be done either as an addition to the basic routine or on its own. Within this 20 minutes, I'll be breaking down and teaching what we call in yoga the sun salute. The sun salute is a series of postures that uses both breath and movement together in a flowing series to really get your body going. So a couple of tips before we get started. Always practice in your bare feet on a non-slip surface. Wear clothes that are comfortable and that you can move in. Practice at your own pace. Like any fitness program, it's nice to challenge yourself, but you never want to strain. Lastly, keep the quality of your breath smooth and even. The breath in yoga goes both in and out through your nose, creating a soft, hollow sound. Now that we're picking the pace up a little, it is a priority to keep the breath happening. The most important thing, in my opinion, is to have fun. The only way you're going to stick to any exercise program is to keep your sense of humor, do the best you can, and enjoy. So take a nice deep breath, and we're going to get started. We're going to start the sequence in mountain pose. So stand with your feet hips distance apart and parallel. Your low belly lifts and your tailbone drops down. The chest lifts and the shoulders are relaxed. Bring the palms together at your heart. This is going to be the starting position. You'll sweep your arms up, and when you do, you'll bring the palms together, press the palms together, press your elbows together so that your arms become very straight. Look up and reach up, and this is going to be an inhale. As you exhale, you'll release the palms all the way down and bring them back together at your heart. So we'll do three of them just like that, up to speed. Sweep the arms up as you inhale, and exhale, release the hands down. Arms sweep up. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, palms together at your heart. All about the breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, now we're going to add on to this. So sweep the arms up as you inhale. And this time as you exhale, hinge at your hips and swan dive all the way folding forward, placing the hands on the floor right next to your feet. Come to the halfway up position. So you're gonna look forward, pull your chest forward, and take the shoulders back away from your ears. Now don't worry if your hands don't reach the floor here. You can just put them on top of your shins so that you can get a nice long spine. That's the priority. This position will be an inhale. Then you'll exhale and release the top of your head towards the floor. Arms out to the sides, lead with the chest, come all the way up with a flat back, look up at your hands, and then release the palms together at your heart. Okay, we'll do three like that, up to speed. Sweep the arms up as you inhale, and then feel free to bend your knees if you want to as you swan dive fold forward. That makes it a little easier on the back. Inhale, look forward, heart forward. Exhale, fold deeply. Arms out to the sides, all the way up. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, just like that. Sweep the arms up. Inhale and exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward, reach that chest forward. Exhale, fold in deeply. Arms out to the sides, all the way up. The belly comes in at the top. Exhale, palms together. Last one, make it count. Sweep the arms. Inhale and fold. Inhale, chest forward, shoulders go back. Exhale, fold in deeply, arms out to the sides, come all the way up, look up at your hands, and exhale, release the palms down. Okay, we're going to continue to add on. Sweep the arms up as you inhale, and then as you exhale, hinge at your hips, lead with the chest to fold forward. Inhale, 
Look forward, take your chest forward, but this time, place your hands to the floor, feel free to bend your knees, and step back to what we're gonna call the plank position, sort of like the top of a push-up. In plank pose, you want your body to be in a straight line. The tendency is to sort of sag in your middle like this. So you don't want to do that, right? Pull the belly in so the belly goes up and the thighs go up, but the tailbone goes down. Reach your chest forward, look forward, and this will be an inhale. As you exhale, keep your elbows hugged in as you lower yourself to the floor. Yeah. So then, uncurl your toes. Push the tops of the feet down into the floor. Take your tailbone down into the floor. Your hands are under your shoulders. Begin to push through your hands so you take your body up into what we're gonna call the cobra pose. In the cobra pose, keep your elbows hugged in, your shoulders shrugged back, and do keep a bend in your elbows like this. Poof the chest up, and if you can, Look up as you inhale, and then exhale, release your body down. Curl your toes under, and we're gonna push back to all fours on your hands and knees. This is gonna be an inhale, and when you come here, engage the belly muscles to help push you back to the downward facing dog position. In downward facing dog, your hips go up to the ceiling and back away from your hands, and your heels press down towards the floor. Now it's okay if your heels don't make it to the floor. Just do the best you can. Just the act of pushing them down does help to bring the weight of your body back. If this is too much on your lower back, feel free to bend your knees a little bit, but keep that spine long. You take a last deep breath here, and then on the exhale, you'll step your feet back up to your hands hips distance apart. Look forward, heart forward. Exhale, fold. Arms out to the sides, come all the way up. Inhaling and exhaling. Okay, we're gonna put all those pieces together and do three at speed. Here we go. Sweep the arms up, inhale. And exhale, swan dive, fold. Look forward, heart forward, inhaling. As you exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, look forward, exhale, lower down. Uncurl the toes. Inhale to cobra, only go as far as is comfortable to you. Exhale, release, curl the toes under. Inhale, all fours. Exhale. Downward facing dog and breathe. Push through your hands so that the hips go up and back. Relax your head. End of the exhale. Take both feet up to your hands. Halfway, look forward, inhale. Exhale, fold a little deeper each time. Arms out to the sides, come all the way up. Big breath in and exhale, release. Okay, round two, here we go. Sweep the arms up, inhaling and exhale. It should feel good to fold forward. Inhale, look forward, heart forward. Step back, plank pose. Inhale, your belly is strong. Exhale, lower slowly, uncurl the toes. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward dog. Just for a moment, check your hands in downward facing dog. Make sure that your fingers are spread wide and they're pointing forward. Your arms are straight. Again, head and neck relaxes. (sighs) 
At the end of the exhale, step your feet up to your hands. Inhale, offering the heart. Exhale, bow the head deeply all the way up. Inhale and exhale. Last one like this. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Feels good to get going. Fold forward. Inhale. Look forward, heart forward. And step back. Plank pose. Inhale. And exhale lower. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, use your belly to pull you back. So smooth breath is soothing on the nervous system. So even if your breath has sped up, keep it smooth and even. End of your exhale, step the feet up to the hands. Look forward, inhaling. Exhale, fold deeply all the way up. Inhale, look up, get tall. Exhale, release. Okay, now we're going to add the last piece of the puzzle. Sweep the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Look forward, heart forward as you inhale, and step back to plank pose, top of a push-up. Look forward as you inhale, and make sure to keep those elbows in as you lower yourself to the floor. Uncurl the toes, and then again as you take cobra, really use your leg muscles. Exhale, release. On your hands and knees, inhaling. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Now from here, we're going to add a low lunge. So step the right foot all the way up to your hands and bring the left knee to the floor. If your foot doesn't make it there on the first try, just grab onto it and give it a clunk forward so that you make sure that the heel goes directly below the knee. Sink your hips forward and down. And then take both hands and put them on top of the front thigh. Now the tendency here is for your hips to kind of shrink away from the floor. Do sink your hips down and either leave your hands right here or if you want to, circle them up over your head. The palms press together, your elbows press together to try to get your body tall. It's almost as if your arms help to pull the body up off the floor. Take a nice big inhale here in the lunge and then as you exhale, you'll release your hands down to plank pose top of a push-up position. Again, inhale and plank. As you exhale, just push straight back to downward facing dog. That's what we do in between sides. Now let's get the other side by stepping your left foot all the way up to your hands and bringing the right knee to the floor. Now if your knee is sensitive, you can always, the, the back knee is sensitive, you can always put a towel or cushion under it for a little support, okay? Bring the hands up onto the front thigh. Then, with the front heel, try to kick the floor down and away from you. As you do that, it's going to strengthen the leg and help to peel the belly off the front thigh and support the low back. Then, if you can, take the arms up. Look up as you inhale. As you exhale, bring the palms all the way down. Step back to plank pose. You inhale here, and then to complete it, we'll exhale to lower, uncurl the toes. Inhale to the cobra. Exhale, release your body down. Curl the toes under. Inhale to all fours, and then exhale, use your leg muscles to pull the body up and back into downward facing dog. Come back to the breathing through your nose.
Okay, at the end of the exhale, step both feet up to your hands. Look forward as you inhale. Exhale, reach the top of the head towards the floor. Arms out to the sides, come all the way up. You inhale. And exhale, release the palms together. Okay, so now your breath should be moving. We've now added all the pieces together and we're gonna do three full sun salutes, okay? And when we do a flowing series like this, make sure to keep in mind that you won't get every pose exactly perfect. The idea is that the breath and movement go together and then we're supposed to be having fun here, okay? So here we go. Sweep the arms up as you inhale. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Look forward, heart forward, you inhale. Exhale, step your body back to plank pose. Keep your body in a straight line as you exhale, lower it down. Uncurl the toes. Inhale to cobra, poof the chest. And exhale, release the body down. All fours. Inhaling. And exhale all the way back to downward dog. Right away, lunging. Right foot, step it to your hands. Left knee to the floor. Sweep the arms up as you inhale. And exhale, release the hands down, coming right into plank position. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the ceiling. Great, step that left foot up to your hands, right knee to the floor. Circle the arms up as you inhale. And exhale, hands to the floor. Plank pose, keep your body straight as you lower down. Good. Back bends are really good for the body. They help to wake you up. And release the body down. Inhale to all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, that's a lot of work, so make sure that the breath is happening. The breath should be going a little bit deeper in the body each time you breathe. And take both feet up to your hands. Look forward on the inhale. Exhale, release the head. Arms out to the sides, all the way up. Your belly comes in at the top. Exhale, release the hands. Okay, that's one. Let's do round two. Sweep the arms up, inhaling. And exhale, lead with the chest and fold. Look forward, heart forward, you inhale. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, release down. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, release your body. Curl the toes under. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps. Bring the left knee down. Sweep the arms up and look up. Exhale, release. Plank pose. Inhale. Downward dog as you exhale. Left foot steps, right knee down. Sweep the arms up, really reach up. And hands to the floor. Plank pose, inhaling, lower the body down. Exhaling, cobra pose, keep the thighs strong. And release, inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Try to keep your forehead soft, your face muscles soft, and the jaw nice and relaxed. Again, it's nice to work hard, but you never want to strain the body. Then step both feet all the way up to your hands. Look forward, heart forward, you inhale. Exhale, fold in deeply, arms out to the sides. Come all the way up, look up at the hands, and release. 
Okay, we got the last one to go, so keep breathing. Sweep the arms up. And swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, heart forward. And step back, plank pose. Inhale, exhale, release. It's gonna make your arms strong. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release the body down. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog, right into the lunge. Right foot steps up, left knee down. Sweep the arms up, keep your belly in. Exhale, release yourself down. Plank pose, you inhale, use the belly muscles. Downward dog, you exhale. Left foot steps, bring the knee down. Sweep the arms up, breathe in and release the hands down. Inhale to plank, exhale you release. Last cobra pose and release the body down. Inhale to all fours, exhale downward facing dog. Come back to the breathing. Now this is our last downward facing dog, so really make it count. Push with the hands so that the hips go up and back, your heels press down towards the floor. And because we've been working so hard, we're gonna end this salute right here by bringing your knees to the floor. Uncurl the toes and sit your hips back on your heels. We're gonna take child's pose to rest for a couple of moments here. So your arms are nice and relaxed, Bring your head to the floor and take a couple of deep breaths. Okay, and then slowly roll yourself up to sitting. Okay, and then just sit to the side and stretch your legs out in front of you. We're just going to take a couple of moments to do some st postures that will stretch out the areas that we've just been working. Okay, so keep your right leg pointing straight ahead and bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Try to get your body squared to the front leg and then reach forward and grab onto your foot or your ankle or your shin or your knee or wherever you reach is okay. No one cares where on the leg you reach. The important thing is that your spine is long. So reach the chest up to the ceiling, grab whatever you can, and then slowly fold forward. Relax the head and shoulders and take a couple of really deep breaths. Instead of just folding down to the leg, try and reach your body forward out over the leg so the top of the head reaches towards your foot. And then lead with the chest, come back up to sitting and release. Okay, let's get that on the other side. Left leg, stretch it forward right foot bring it in and again to get your body squared over the front leg you almost need to take a little bit of a twist flex that front foot and push the back of the knee down that's going to engage all of the muscles in the leg to protect the knee again grab on wherever is comfortable to you take a nice inhale to lengthen the spine and then fold forward as far as is comfortable to you Again, no one cares how far down you go. What we do care about is that you're able to breathe here, is that you're able to release tension here. Relax your forehead, relax the jaw, and take deep, smooth breaths. The breath gets deeper in the body each time you breathe.
and then lead with the chest and come all the way up to sitting. Now just sit with your legs crossed comfortably. Sit up nice and tall. So we're going to do a final twist to just get the kinks out. So take the right hand and put it to the floor on the outside of the right hip. Your left hand goes to your right knee. Sit nice and tall and then begin to twist and look over that right shoulder. Now every time you inhale, try to get the body a little bit taller. Stay that tall and as you exhale, begin to twist a little bit more. So that's each breath. Inhale to get tall and exhale to twist. Last deep breath here, and then slowly release your body forward. Okay, let's get that on the other side. So lean back and just uncross your legs and recross them the other way so that the other foot is front. We want to make sure that you're even. Go ahead and put the left hand to the floor on the outside of the hip, right hand to the left knee. Inhale to get tall, and exhale to twist. Make sure that your shoulders stay nice and relaxed here. Twisting is really good for the body. It helps with digestion because you're literally wringing all the toxins out of you. Last deep breath here, and then slowly release your body and come back to center. Just sit with your legs crossed comfortably and place your hands on top of your thighs. Sit tall. Yoga is about balance, so it's really important after a strong routine to take a couple of moments of stillness. Becoming still gives your body a chance to cool down and rejuvenate itself. So together, let's close our eyes and sit tall. Every time you inhale, the body gets recharged. And every time you exhale, the body gets relaxed. So keep breathing in silence. Inhale to recharge. And exhale to relax. Take a last deep breath. And then allow your eyes to open. You should feel really good. The sun salute is really the next step in your yoga practice. Even though this routine is short, you've worked very hard. So bring the palms together at your heart. The light in me salutes the light in you. Namaste.